population is now about a quarter of a million, a little bit over a quarter of a million. Um, that's uh, been stable over the last 20 years or so. When uh, I was born in Newark, population was about 450,000. And uh, the mayor could say better, much better than I can that having uh, vacant lots is a problem for a city. Um, and population growth, I think, is a sign of strength because it means the city is a magnet and people want to locate their businesses, want to locate there. I think that also helps to support property values, uh, which makes the, the area prosper. So I think the fact that population has stabilized and has started to grow a little bit is, is a positive sign for Newark. Uh, I think Newark benefited historically from immigration. Um, the, the waves of immigrants who came to the U.S. Uh, for opportunity uh, helped to make uh, the U.S. is a stronger country. If the renaissance in Newark continues, you're going to see uh, expanding population growth in Newark. Um, and uh, I think that's long overdue, frankly. But our economy is so fueled by immigration. And the immigration reform uh, bill that the professor mentioned uh, would have bought, brought hundreds of billions of dollars to our uh, economy in terms of growth and opportunity. Uh, we now know that other countries are trying to copy the strategies we've used in the past in rural America. Uh, are doing, uh, in fact, one of my friends told me there's a billboard up in uh, Silicon Valley that says, can't get your H-1B visa, uh, come to Canada. Um, because there are other countries are recognizing uh, the power and the strength of, of growth. The U.S. does have a tradition of entrepreneurship, which stands out when we look around the world. You know, just look at television shows like Silicon Valley, which celebrates entrepreneurship. So you're absolutely right that immigrants are more likely to start businesses uh, in the U.S. I think that's partly because uh, they are less connected, probably, to the existing establishments, uh, willing to disrupt existing sectors. Uh, but natives also create businesses at a fairly high rate compared to the rest of the world. Uh, I think what's important is that we have a system that can provide them with credit when they need it, uh, that was severely impaired as a result of the financial crisis. It was very important, I think, that government stepped in, especially the SBA, uh, to uh, uh, support more sm small business lending because that was a serious problem in the recovery and continues to be uh, a, a weak spot in the recovery. Uh, let me recommend to all of you to read a speech that Janet Yellen gave a year ago uh, at the uh, uh, Boston Federal Reserve uh, Bank. The um, theme of her speech, which is unusual for a uh, Federal Reserve chair, uh, was on social mobility. And she highlighted four building blocks for social mobility. Uh, one is education. One is investment uh, in uh, children more generally. Uh, the third that she highlighted was entrepreneurship. And interestingly, and she did some research on the topic, which is also impressive uh, for a, a chair of the Federal Reserve, uh, what she found is that ownership of businesses is skewed much more to higher income folks, as you would expect, but less so than other assets. So uh, business ownership is an important avenue uh, for people to have upward mobility. Um, only 3% of families in the bottom half have a stake in a business. If you look at the next 45%, about 14% have a stake in a business, which if you look at the overall distribution of wealth, that's actually more evenly distributed. Uh, that 14%, the value of their business is extremely important for their overall wealth. The average is about $200,000. For the top 5%, over half have a stake in a business. So you can see that uh, business ownership is highly skewed, uh, yet less highly skewed than ownership of uh, other forms of wealth. And one of the points that she highlighted is that business ownership, particularly for that, that 45%, uh, has been declining. And I think it's very important that we have uh, policies to reverse that. I think there are many factors that have been, that would explain this decline, which has been taking place for about three decades, uh, some of which I think is demographic related. Um, so. Uh, what she concluded is that entrepreneurship is a very important force for providing upward mobility. It doesn't work for everyone, uh, but for a significant share of the middle class, it provides an important avenue for 
uh, reaching the American dream and uh, having upward mobility.